All right, guys. Sorry, we had a, I had a, I had a problem. My stream was coming in, really weird. So, I just had to test out a little bit. But it looks like we're back in action. So, uh, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Here we go. All right. I'm, I'm hoping this starts as the beta. Now, look, if it starts out in the beginning like the beta did, um, we're gonna be super pro at this, and there's not gonna be any problems. If it doesn't start out like the beta did, we're gonna get super wrecked, and that's fine, that's just part of the experience, you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, it's just how the game goes. Alright, so far the opening credit crawl is literally a credit crawl. I'm about it. And I ain't mad that one bit. Oh god. Oh god, I'm not- see, now this is a weird thing. It's like, it's almost like I'm leaving in a sm the small intestine. The journey of me and my life right here. It's rough stuff. Okay, here we go. Show them the business. I got the sword. I got the looks. I got the intro level. <gasps> These didn't do anything last time. Oh, you guys got... Nope. Okay. Wait. I need a body. Quick. Sorry, I just had to double check my hardening ability. I don't want to be a scrub, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to get wrecked in the very beginning. <gasps> yes, let me in. Alright. I got my new pair of Nikes. Here we go. There it is, that's the cover shot right there, Chief. Show them the good stuff. Okay. Now we got the health. Now we got the shell. A man is more than just a sleeve. Well, you know, that's a good... That's a good life lesson. I'm gonna say that for sure. So, what I, what I found in the beta is that... Every shell you get has kind of this cool little backstory that you... Can discover by, like, powering it up and all this good stuff. Um, I don't know what this is. Are these store? What is that? Wait a second. Can I look around with it? Does it show me my objective? Well, look, whoever that shadowy figure is, he's about to get jacked up. That's all I'm saying. Acquired a glimpse of futility. Bro, and they're staring right at me. Okay, treasure box? Mm-hmm. Get kicked, boy. A simple loot. Now, guys, I happen to have it on good fact that if you, uh, if you use the simple loot repeatedly, you become a rock star pretty quick. See, you start out super jank, but don't worry about the end of this playthrough. We're gonna be showing them how to rock, it's fine. I don't remember how to use the mortal token, but no worries. I know the mushrooms are what I'm gonna want the most of. <clears throat> okay, the whole area's changed. I dig it. Until I get wrecked from, like, the side, then I'm not going to dig it at all. What is this thing? What are all these new things? What do you got to tell me? I can't interact with you. You got a button. Oh, it's locked. It's a chest. What the fudge? Give me you! Okay, well, dang it. They got bear traps. Aren't you dirty so-and-sos? Come get me! Some of this! Yep. Yep. Get your loot out of here. That's man. Oh, yeah, you're done now. Oh, no. Oh, God. They do a lot of damage for being so scrawny. There you go. You're done, good sir. Pick up inferior moonshine. Okay. These are definitely not like Dark Souls Neo esque things. They're just like normal things. They're like, oh, look at your cousin Philip. Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. Get bear trapped, boy. Get you some of this! Get poked! That's right, sit down! Falling into your own bear trap, that's what you- Who's throwing- who's throwing stuff at me? How dare you throw rocks at me, man? Yeah, <laughs> everyone's getting caught in your own bear- Dang it, my face! Not today. Not today! 
Oh, I'm out of stamina. Don't, don't murder me. Just give me a breather. Take that, chief. Okay. Oh, these... God, these bear traps are gonna be lit. What is that noise? What's to my left? Are you telling me these little guys make all that noise? Most intimidating sounds I've heard all day. All right, frog. You're mine. Oh, God. Get me out. I wasn't expecting it to just expel fart gas everywhere. Okay, that's a frog. Get poked. Nailed it. All right, for those of you who are- Oh, good, no! Who are wondering why I'm being so careful, it's because I wasn't very good at this game in the first place when I first tried it, so... We'll see how this goes. Let me dodge. I know what you're thinking. Antonius, you? Not good at a game? What? Never! And that's exactly what I thought, too, the minute I started- Oh, God, I got knocked out of my shoes! Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Let me in my shoes! Get me in there! There it is. All right, so the trick is uh, when you get beat hard enough to kick you out of your Nikes and you got to run back to your kicks before someone steals them. Jesus, bear trap. Let me out. As long as you get back to your kicks fast enough, they won't get stolen and you won't lose. If you can't get back, you're done. It's a serious problem. Okay, those within the obsidian walls seek oblivion. Their warship turbulent and reactive. They predicted the birth of their savior, but they say he has already been born. Well, I guess it's not me. Dang it. I guess I'm not even the main character. I'm just some jerk in a different body. Oh, wait a second. Someone's playing a loot. Someone's, someone's a rock star over here, and I'm just a scrub. Who's around him? Oh, I bet he's lonesome. Oh, God, no! There was, there's always someone listening to the jams. I don't want it. I don't want it. No. Oh, God, there's two. Yeah, I'm kicking that loot around. Give me that fudge out. Okay. Okay, here we go. You're going to, you're going to regret stepping to me. You know it's true. Okay, I regret stepping to you. My bad. This is all my fault. I'm just going to run away. Hold on. Heal up. Blue. Over 30 seconds? I don't have 30 seconds, game! Ooh, close. Hold on, game. I got no abilities. Oh, my body! I'm dead. Well, dang it. Alright, so that's what happens when you get kicked out of your shoes. Um, Let's see what I can do about that. I don't enjoy being the biggest scrub on the planet, but sometimes it happens. I thought the cap, the mushroom was going to help me out more, but... You know, over 30 seconds, I wasn't a very big hero. Okay, we're back. Let's try this again. I don't know which direction I want to go. I know there's some healing of things you can get, but there's nothing here. So let's take it up this way. And see what we got. We went right last time. Oh, more mushrooms. How exciting. Okay, we didn't murder anyone this way. Wait. Hold on. I thought they were gonna respawn. No. I'm already thinking about a different spot. We're good. So we gotta get back to our body to collect our stuff. So that's the same old checkpoint business. But we do gotta find a little bit of something, something going on. So, let's see if we can manage to not get killed here. Yeah! Yeah! What I love about this game so far is that the R1... The R2 ability is more like... I guess a distance ability as opposed to just a power hit. So that's really cool. No. I know you're kind. You're gonna feel it. Yeah, get wet! What else you got, Chief? What do you know about it? There you go, get beat. Okay, it's the same thing as clicking left analog stick. The hungriest of the unborn burns with desire. He hangs 
seething as those below bow low in supplication. I don't like the word supplication. He demands sacrifice, but his hunger, it nares end. <laughs> nares ends? Alright. Just always starving. Guys, I used to have a problem with this. I would go through, like, eating half a chicken, and, like, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and be starving the whole time. Then I just, like, went on a liquid fast for some reason. I was like, you know what? If too much food is my problem, let's try zero food. And, I mean, it worked for a little bit, but boy, that was a rough time in my life. What am I supposed to do with all these people walking at me? Everyone just walking strong on me. How dare you? No shirt with strong walking? You need to sit down, boy. That's right. How about you, Chief? I'm just gonna run and jump at you. Just you wait. Hold on. Here's my stamina. Get someone. Yeah. Alright, we just need one more. What is this guy? Just, just the toughest guy in the block. How dare you. Too cool for school. Okay, over 30 seconds. I'm just gonna go up here. You're gonna get... I'm gonna get... Oh, jeez. I'm gonna get beat again. Get me out. Okay. Hopefully this mushroom's working for me. Mm-hmm. Continue to get whacked, boy. Oh, what a waste. That sucked. Okay. Dang it. Oh, this guy's got armor. Huh. All right, fancy man. Step to that. Okay, what do we got in here? I guess I'll just pick it up. What is that noise? Wait. There's giant bats that have been staring at me the whole time? Hmm. I'm not brave enough to go down there. We're just going to keep going this way really fast. We're going to pick up our souls that we lost when we died. Look, I don't know what they're called, but I'm going to call them souls. Just because, like... I guess that's the accepted term. I feel after, I feel like Dark Souls kind of set the pace for everything that's a currency in these kinds of games just being called Souls. Um, excuse you? What are you? Is this a chest? It's a chest. Alright, let's use another mushroom. Try to feel a little bit more healthy. Is this the guy that lured me in with his sweet sounds and then he just wrecked me? Sir? Nope. Okay. 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 Yeah, good miss. Hit them both! You! Oh god. I got no stamina. Leave me alone. I'm just a boy. Oh god. There you go. Okay. Inferior moonshine. I don't know if I'm about the spookiness happening. I wish I had, you know, I just got done with Neo 2, like I said. And I use that gun way too often, I think, because now I'm just like, oh, I wish I had, like, a rifle or something. Aw, oh, fudge. Why do they always have, like, a scout leader with them? All the time. That's for you. Alright. Nope, what a waste. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Oh, God! Bounce off it. No! Oh, good dodge me. There you go, boy. Folks, I'm getting better at this. I can already tell we're going to beat this game super easy. They said it was hard, but now... We're just going to be too cool for school. We're going to put it down. And what the fudge is this? Now, you see, this, this nowadays would be no bueno. Hmm. Nope, just just step at me, dog. Ah, oh, fudge. He lets them all know. You see this? You see these gang signs are thrown at me? Um, yeah. Who's gonna get murdered first? Not me. So there was a bug when fighting on hills was pretty darn dangerous. So that's why I'm just trying to avoid getting wrecked on a hill. I don't want any part in it. Okay. Nope. Oh, you're done now. You're done now. That was a big mistake. Get beat. 
Where's my dead body? Bring it back to me, please. Wait. Oh. That's gross. That's gross. I thought it was something made of wood, but it's just a dude. With... Weird claws for arms? Alright, I mean, I'll take it, but... I don't know if I like the horror. There you go. From me to you. There's a... No. Yeah, it's a buff guy. Guy throwing rocks. Okay, hold on. Let's go get our old stuff back first. Before we try to take on everyone else. We've already proven we're the champion of this arena, so I don't think we're gonna run into a whole, a whole bunch of problems. Oh. All right, loot, take it. Okay. We're good so far. I'm just gonna listen for some tunes that people are playing. I think it's the easiest way to figure out where everything is, but I, I don't know yet. Okay, up this way. Hi, Chief. Hi, my dude. Oh, crap. It's always two. It's always two. Oh, now you're done. It's too big. Block. No. Oh, God. My face. My second face. Okay. Don't worry. We're good. We're just going to poke this guy and he'll be dead. Now for you. Get murdered. Okay, up here. I'm just gotta watch out for slingshot. This is the chest that's locked. That's a guy throwing rocks at me like a huge punk. Yep, there it is. Oh, what's back here? Hello. Pick up congealed tar. Gross. Okay, okay, okay. Sit down, boy! I just gotta make my way to the top. We're good, no problems here. Fudge, problems. Let's see if this guy will chase me over this way. Come on. You know you want to get beat. You know you want to taste. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Guys, this is... Ah, oh, it sucks. It sucks. I'm so weak. I was the strong man on campus, and now I've lost all my confidence. Because this man throwing rocks at me. And Fury Moonshine. I don't know what that does. We're not going to try it right now. I think that's my stuff. That's not my stuff. Alright, hold on. I have a plan. Sort of. I don't have a plan. Not at all, actually. We're going to run in. We're just going to jive and chop him. Uh -huh. Then we're going to roll this way. Just for a smidge. Then we're going to run up around again. We're going to use our last mushroom. For more health. Um, hmm. There's a guy. There's a guy. Oh. I see. You know, it's, it's the height thing. You know, I'm not the tallest man on the planet, just in real life, but when video game characters step up to me and they're like, you are definitely a short person, I'm immediately intimidated. I don't know why. It's just like, you know, I feel like I'm a strong, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna keep my height a secret just so you guys can imagine how tall I am. But, uh, it's a pretty grand stature. I just don't like getting beat by taller characters. You know, it's degrading. Like, I was playing a game called Knights of the Round, and there's a bro who walks up to you who's just called Tall Man. And he's like, man, game, why you gotta bring me down like this? Tall Man just wrecking my face? And they're like, yeah, get used to it. Get dunked on, son. And then I just continually get dunked on throughout an entire boss fight by a tall person. It's like, Jesus Christ, my body. Okay. Well, we wrecked those guys. Tall or not. I'm still looking for my dead body from last time. Bro, I am not 5'4". How dare you be spreading falsehoods, chief. <laughs> I'm the perfect hero height. Leave it alone. <laughs> Let's see what's under here. The Falgrim Tower, see? Wait. 
Oh, I see. You can... Sister Janessa already? What you talking about, Sister Janessa? Pray, what wayward spirit beckons? I shall name you family, and you may call me Sister Janessa. I mean, I... You're uninitiated in the Raphael's mysteries. I see. What a curiosity you are. Wearing a man like a shell. Yeah, I mean, it's what I do. It's you what I do. Him, but you know nothing of him yet. True story. I don't get to know people very Actually, well for like a couple of years. And some tar too. And I'm sure we can stir up some recollection. I mean, let's let's see. Of course. First, you must find his name. Ema Mandrea. I don't. Ah, that's that's. I don't speak that. Not even a little bit. Uh. Yeah, we'll sip some divine tar. Why not get crazy? You must discover this shell's name to awaken him. Okay, here you go. Oh, that's a gross noise. Heros the Vassal. The brigands pointed us toward the temple. Oh, that's nice. Shunned by the devout, their allegiances lie to those who offer tar or spirits. They entertain themselves with drunken antics or violent cruelties. They know better than to attack us. But they followed us at a distance, hoping for scraps. Scrubs trying to get my scraps? How dare they? How dare they? So we got this business. 500. Ooh. Killing two enemies quick section resets my heart and cooldown. That's a good one. Give me a glimpse of the chance to restore some health. I need some glimpses. I got I got one glimpse. Oh my god, there's probably a glimpse on my on my body over there from a while ago. Wait a second. Hold on. Oh, it's I'm going through DS4. That's it. I was, I'm going through DS4 windows. I was like, why is my touchpad attacks? I'm the best. Glimpse of fertility. I know. Nope. Uh, let's let's just use it. Oh, I thought there was gonna be a cool animation. I thought he was gonna like explode with a burst of energy. And I guess because I'm just a. I'm just a scrub. They're like, no, that's all you get. Let's let's do this. More stories. A madman. I would come to realize was not burdened with delusions, but truth. Yet the wary ear corrupts honest words into lies. I took him for a spy and cut him down. How else could he know so much about me? He had condemned himself with each utterance. Oh, now that's just paranoia, my man. You just gotta relax. What do we have here? Sense instinct. Okay. What is this? What's going on here? Am I... Am I using the shining to find out things? What does this do? Is this the exact same thing I just watched? No. Does it tell me where more... Oh! Okay, it tells me where more shells are. That's pretty slick. I don't... I don't want to go... Nope. Mm -mm. Let's go back to the first area because I feel like we missed some things. Whoa, nope! What, what is that? What? Wait. Was it, was it something over here? What the fudge is this thing? Um, why would I remove the seal? What is that? You know what? You know, we're gonna be brave just a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna do it. I don't know how stupid that is, but um Yeah. Yeah, why not, boy? I got you. Be free. Or not. The tarnished seal. <gasps> oh. That's better. Oh, I don't trust that. You're welcome. It's been so long since anyone raised a hand toward me in kindness. Well, with a spooky it visage like that. Untouched by false truths. Unfortunately, I have little to offer you. Save for that tarnished seal in your hand. How about like you back me up from above? A gift. But I expect you will find it useful. Would you grant me another favor? 
Uh, yeah, sure. In the temples of the devout, you'll find the sacred glands of the revered. Bring the glands back to me, so I can extract the true nectar. Just enough to heal me. See, I don't like the saying of any of that. Perhaps you too can use it to free yourself from this wretched land before you end up like me. Like a giant spooky bird thing? I don't trust it. Okay, well now we got uh, we got that seal. There it is. L1 to parry. Also warn me about unparryable attacks. Okay. Interrupting their attacks. That's what I'm talking about. I want to parry and then an uh, empowered repost. Requires great resolve. Um, let's see. The old prisoner has infused a seal, giving your parry the ability to leave an in enemy vulnerable to an empowered repost. Performing an empowered repost will heal you. That's what I'm talking about. Tattered vestment? Oh, what is this? Using a workbench. Quenching acid. Repair Ballista Zooka. I don't have that. Boost the healing effects. Boosts Resolve Acquisition. Oh wow, they're trying to give me all kinds of good stuff. The Hallowed Sword is an empty channel in its center. The sword mechanisms are configured for a second spike. Well, I don't even have a first spike. What it's on, uh, hmm. Sense Instinct? Oh, this must be a weapon. Oh, that's a big weapon. That's still the weirdest noise ever. It's like the, uh, did you guys watch the Babadook? Wait a second, we've been there. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, it's like the Prince of Persia things. Now I get it. These are gigantic swords. Okay. So, if we want that other weapon, we gotta kinda walk our way down through that channel we were in just a little bit ago. Alright, very clever game. Let's go ahead and upgrade our sword. Yes. There we go. Weapon damage in Christ. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna throw at these guys super hard and see how it goes. So like I was saying, that noise from the Baba Duke, it's kinda like the um Excuse you dog, I'm trying to run through this hole real quick. Dude, you did not. Okay, that was not what I was trying to... Oh god, they're all over me! God, oh jeez, why didn't you warn me, woman? Of the sister Janessa that I was gonna be attacked the minute I stepped out. My goodness. Not the big dude. Not the big dude, I'm just... I just wanna go for a walk without getting my shoes stolen. Can that happen? Could that be cool? Can I... I can't use that. There you go. Get scrubbed on, dude. You too, dog. I'm coming for you. Don't think you're safe. Excuse me? Was there something hidden here? Until I beat the fudge out of it? We have followed in steps. The dark one. Retracing his winding, inscrutable logic. Listen for the whispers he must have heard. They've moved into temples. Mm -mm. Tall walled monuments erected by devout hands. They pray of truth to their false... Oh. They know to be false. We've resisted the whispers, rendered them inert. Let any who read this deny their gifts, for the promise of the life of ecstasy is a fallacy. Yeah, let me tell you something. That's life lesson right there. Life is suffering, obligation, and truth. Well, let's not get crazy. Seek us out, and we will reveal this to you. All right, that sounds like a threat, but we'll just uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll hit some more walls. Um, I didn't know by hitting walls we'd discover truths or lack thereof. Um, if I eat rats, will my health come back? Let's see. Scrum diddly umptious. What is this? Use one or more time to reveal its effect. Cannot be used. This weapon is already equipped. Huh. Okay. Cannot be used. This shell is unknown. This shell is already inhabited. Alright, well, let's eat this. Consumes resolve. Well, that's... I mean, I guess it's a fair trade-off because I was dying. Alright, fool. Alright, chief. Yeah, you lose. Get scrubbed down. There we go. 
Yeah, what you know, big dude? Nope. What is that noise? You doing? Okay. Oh, I was way too early. That's for you. I'm terrible at parrying, I guess. Lesson learned. Can't open that. That's a person. We've already been up here, so this is the roundabout to Sister Janessa. Sister. Okay, we got some well caps. This is good. I don't even want this fight, guys. I don't even want it. Oh, well now you're just playing terrible chords to spur me on to murder you. How dare you treat an instrument like that, my guy? How dare you? My grandpaps plays the guitar like a madman, and here you are just slapping a loot around like it's none of your business. The nerve. Okay, there was the bats, so that's not the right way. We don't want to be the knight, we want to keep going this way. Oh, yeah, this is the right way for sure. Jerk. Oh god. Sidestep, like a champ. Back roll like a champ, you! Yeah, you're done. So are you. It's like just like the sound the sword makes just whacking these guys. You beat. Dope. No, no, why are you still alive? Don't do it. I'm out of the good stuff. There we go. Alright, folks, so. Now that we have the combat under our belt, I'm going to tell you about some films I've been watching lately. As long as I can stay focused and keep this on Easy Street, I think I can tell you a little bit about this. Let's see if we can get this multitask going. I was watching, um, okay. So I told you I watched The Evil Bong, right? But I did also watch The Evil Bong too, and I know I said I wasn't going to review this because I feel like a little part of me dies every single time I watch one of these movies, which in itself is very true. However, um... I told you there were seven of these bad boys, and remember, last time I was saying I'm not going to watch all seven. I've changed my mind. I'm going to watch all seven. I'm going to really power through this just for you. So, you know, you're welcome for the terrible movie reviews. Anyway, Evil Bong 2, out in the Amazonian rainforest. Actually, scratch that. I started to review Evil Bong 2. I'm going to finish it up. Um, out in the Amazonian rainforest, absolutely... Uh, terrible what happens is they uh they get the extended effects of like the munchies and all the things like some guy gets narcolepsy keeps falling asleep and then they discover a horrific king bong it's um oh no you know what it's, you know what yeah it's called the king bong i thought in my brain it should be called bong kong because i just think that's a better name for it but you know whatever works i'm not the guy who wrote the movie what am i gonna do about it but uh it's like they just they just come in and, again, like, the, the sets are, like, a half apartment, and then the outside of California that's just pretending to be a rainforest. And then, again, um, because I think they even... So, here's what happens, guys. In number one, they have a room that's an apartment, and then they just rent out, like, a strip club. And I'm pretty sure these are just strippers that they also hired for the Evil Bong 2. Um... Which is, it's fine, I guess, but they go back to another indiscriminate room where you're just like, is this actually supposed to be something? And it's, Jesus, bouncing off my face, rocks! And all it is, it's a, um, it's just a room with black curtains with a really bad puppet again. The puppets are so bad. Like, you remember when you would watch a movie like, uh, what is it? I don't know if you guys ever watched this, like Thumb Wars, where it was a spoof on Star Wars, but done with thumbs by Steve Odekirk, and you were like, oh yeah, that's hilarious, I'm eight. But the main issue is like, now now I'm not eight years old, and you know, I'm, I'm kind of more of an adult, and these movies are unacceptable. And it's not, it's not a good puppet. I wouldn't even say it's a puppet people should strive for. Get parried, oh my face, I'm trying to tell the people about King Bong. Get out of here. 
and it's just, it's a rough one. Anyway, the cast comes back, except for the nerd from the first one, which I can kind of respect that he didn't come back, but then again, like, he should have really come back to reprise his role. I'm torn. I kind of want the first dude back. I don't know if I like the second guy. Moving on, um, don't worry, I'll review Evil Bong 3 here just in a second. The part that I stayed awake for, I fell asleep halfway through because, you know, the majesty of the Evil Bong 3. I'll we'll do like a half Evil Bong 3 review. Anyway, moving on with number two again. What happens is, uh, they go to the Amazon rainforest to look for a cure for this thing because they hear it's there. Um, they run into a, a tribe of Amazonians who are just strippers again. Um, then they, again, partake of another bong, which they should have learned from, from the first, like, entire experience. And then they get teleported to another dimension, they fight him. Uh, all they do is they blow him up, and that's it. It's really anticlimactic. It doesn't even have Tommy Chong in it like the first one did. It's just they go in, they blow him up, game over. It's the first movie just again, which is really disappointing. I wanted, I don't know, more story? Maybe how these bongs were created. I want the I want the origin story for the evil bong. That's what I want. The full superhero treatment, like, oh my god, why is it a thing? Who knows? Maybe they'll give us the backstory in Evil Bong uh, 4. I don't know. I just want I just have I feel like I'm missing out by not knowing. Ooh, get reposted, boy! And uh <laughs> there it is. And by not knowing, it's what's gonna keep me going for the seventh one. All right, um, would I, what would I rate this one? Between Evil Bong 1 and 2, uh, Evil Bong 1 is better just for its focus. Evil Bong 2 is worse because it's shot out in three different direct, actually like nine different directions because there's new characters and all kinds of stuff. Um, hold on, let me read this real quick. She rests within a tomb, the most vulnerable of the unborn. I don't like this unborn business. Unless it ends up being something cool, then I'll change my mind. His protection is all he has left to offer. The loyal husky prays for her birth, refusing rest no matter how tiresome his watch. Alright, you know, I gotta start taking these down on a notepad. Maybe like haikus, I don't know. But Evil Bong 1, definitely better than Evil Bong 2. Moving on. Evil Bong 3, it's a bong from space. So, take with it what you will. Um, two of the friends, so it's got three of the four main characters are back again. Uh, once again, the nerd character... <gasps> I remember this section. Okay, we can do this section with our eyes closed. Let's go back real fast, find my dead body, and then we'll be moving on. So, number three. A meteorite lands. No, wait, wait. Okay, I gotta hit something on number two really fast as to why I hate it. Or, I think it's worse than number one by far. There's a new character called Rabbit, and he's the UPS guy who drops off the original Evil Bong, and he's just along for the ride. He's just a terrible, weird actor, and granted, in his position, I don't know if I'd be any better of an actor. You know, we know you only watch a movie and you go, you know what, I feel like I would do that better. Like, I don't even want to attempt it, but I feel like I'd be better in that role. He's just an old man, just laughs at things randomly, and that's, that's his entire point. Like, his entire purpose of the movie is just to laugh randomly and chase drugs. And I go, hmm, this character's kind of boring. He gets turned into, like, uh, he gets rolled up into a cigarette one time. And his whole line, he just screams, I'm a doobie. That's it. That, that's all it is. Like, he, not just, like, one time, but in this really high-pitched voice for, like, five minutes. And you're just like, Jesus, will someone just put him down as hard as they can, please? And it never happens. It never happens. He just keeps screaming, I'm a doobie, I'm a doobie, and I was just... It's to the point where words lose their meaning. It ruins the movie for me. Aside from that, still worse than number one. Number three, uh, this is gonna be the two-parter because once I'm done streaming today, I guess I'll watch Evil Bong 3. Uh, I suppose. But, uh, so how this starts... A meteor crashes. Dang it, my face! Meteor lands on Earth. Some guy immediately touches it. A bong rolls out, and he gets high. That's it. He trusts space stuff. Like, who does that? Who just goes, oh yeah, I'm gonna trust space stuff. 
And like, of course, you know, since every evil bong movie has a new bong design, there's then like an alien xenomorph yellow bong thing. And what it does is it teleports you to a strip club of aliens. Always, you know, it's the same old, same old here. I'm seeing the same rinse, repeat kind of pattern. First it was a uh, strip club, then it was Amazonian stripper ladies. Now it's just women painted green like they're from Star Trek. That's all it is. I don't know if I'm gonna survive seven of these films. I'm gonna do my best. Why did I not push L2? L2! Wait, what? Oh, now I can harden. There we go. I'm gonna get messed up. Right here. Let's see how it works. L2? Wait a second. Why isn't my hardening working, guys? No, 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 no! We'll have to test it after this. Give me some! Okay. There we go. Now it's working. Where's my little... Where's my gauge that shows it? Huh. Weird, I couldn't harden like three times in a row. Alright, I'll take that. Anyway, um, that's how far I got. When it, when all of a sudden it was alien strippers, I said, this movie is dumb. And I went right to bed. I couldn't stay awake any longer. So, um, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to marathon them tomorrow, I guess. Cause that's how I have to deal with these films. I thought one at a time would work, like, you know, a little bit better, because then you could take a break. But I realize if I do this one at a time, I'm never going to come back to it. Oh, I'm dead. That's the worst. I'm never going to come back to it. I'm just going to keep avoiding these movies until, like, I don't know. And I just won't be able to watch them anymore. I'll just be like, you know what? I'm not going to, I can't deal with it.